Good morning. It's Friday, January 3rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Two Roads, One Destination, and our scripture is Matthew chapter 21. But what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son answered, No, I won't go. But later he changed his mind and went anyway. Then the father told the other son, You go. And he said, Yes, sir, I will. But he didn't go. Which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, The first. For me, it's always a holy moment when I look back to connect the dots on the pathway that unfolded as God led someone to bow the knee and serve the king. Our mom had a full scholarship to attend Moody Bible Institute in Chicago and become a missionary. However, this was during the Great Depression, and her father shut down that opportunity, insisting she stay at home after high school to earn money to help support the family. Mom never lost the missionary fire within. She was a shining light to quietly inspire and change lives. The first life she impacted was Elwood. She wouldn't go to the movies with him unless he agreed to come to church with her. That started a different kind of fire, and it lasted 67 years. Mom served our Lord in the church we attended in those early years as Sunday school superintendent, leading vacation Bible school, and attending to many other details of church life. But the missionary in residence of our humble four-room cottage most lived out her commitment to Christ in the day-to-day routines of the faithful life of a Jesus disciple, right in front of her two children. That visible testimony of the grace of God had the effect that it always has, two different lives impacted to travel two different roads with one destination. My brother Tom, four years older than I, went off to Houghton College when I was a freshman in high school. Tom was the first college student in our family. His plan was for ministry studies, but the financial burden of college costs was too heavy, and the scholarship from the state of New York could only be used for non-ministry purposes. So, the math major was born, and my big brother graduated with honors. This pathway started a different kind of ministry than Tom had imagined. In the classroom at Stony Brook School, he would teach math to students, but the ministry became modeling faithful Christian discipleship for his children, grandchildren, students, and peers. That lasted more than five decades. It wasn't the road he'd planned, but God leads the way we can serve him best. Meanwhile, Tom's brother was treading a different path. College was a bust, and the younger brother became an education dropout, drafted, and wandering in the far country. Eventually, God's Spirit finally got through to the more hard-headed of the brothers, whose wandering gave way to a recall into commitment of life. This led to a different kind of wandering, 40 years of itinerancy, like Abraham following God far from home and family. Getting back to the elder brother, Tom retired from the classroom a few years ago to become a student. It seems the Brownworth boys can't help this. This time, however, there was no scholarship hanging in the balance. This was a long-delayed dream following, which would culminate just a month ago in being commissioned as a deacon in the Lutheran Church to serve at the Lord's beck and call, teaching and ministering to those in need. The classroom is now, as John Wesley would say about his parish, the world. For you today, in retrospect, there is an easier and better way to do things than imagining we chart our own course and captain our own ship. Mom knew that. Her boys took a while to figure it out. Learned in the process? Answer God. It's never too late. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.